Bodyguard concludes its first season with a terrific ending that is full of twists and turns. We finally have answers to all of the questions that have been building up over the series and throughout this video I will be discussing the program's ending in full detail. There will be heavy spoilers so it may be worth skipping this video for now if you're yet to see the final episode. With that out the way, I'm Definition and I ruin the show so you don't have to. In the final episode of Bodyguard, we learn that Nadia Ali was the true mastermind behind the events that took place in the show. After David prevented her suicide bombing in episode 1, Nadia enacted a plan to ruin his life and get revenge. David unwittingly showed her pictures of his family in episode 1 and this is how the villain was able to organise an attack on his children's school. She was also able to build a multitude of bombs before her incarceration including the bomb at St Matthews College and David's suicide vest. With the help of Luke Aitken who had his own reasons for assassinating Julia, she was able to bring her plan to fruition. When asked why she carried out this merciless destruction of David's life and the British government, Nadia stated that, He thought so little of me. He showed me pictures. For him, I was a weak woman. I remembered everything he told me about his children. Their names, their ages, and from prison I was able to inform my organisation. Nadia was a very calculating villain who was willing to work with non-believers in order to enact her plan. She clearly wanted to show that she was just as valuable in the war as a man would be and was perhaps angered by the fact that David became a bodyguard in order to protect women once more when Nadia believed that they were strong enough on their own. We discover Luke Aitken's motives for the attack were not personal and that he merely killed Julia as a way to divert laws that may be used against him in the future. Julia wanted to pass the legalisation RIPA 18 which would transfer powers from the police to security services. Luke had used bribery and extortion to avoid prosecution from the law but knew that the new legislation would make the improved security services more difficult to get around. Luke's first attempt on Julia's life was when he armed David's army friend Andy with a sniper rifle, however after this failed he sought more extreme measures. We discover that there were two inside moles working against Julia, the first being Chanel who was fired early on for being terrible at her job and the latter being Lorraine Craddock. Lorraine chose David as Julia's bodyguard due to the fact that he would make the perfect fall guy. Lorraine shared Julia's itinerary with Luke so that he could place the sniper Andy on the route her car would travel and also help to arrange the bombing. In the bombing we learn that Tahir was an unlucky bystander who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time but this provided the perfect cover for Craddock whilst also putting suspicion towards David. Chanel would later lure David into a trap by providing information on Luke and this all tied into David's master plan to clear his name. Whilst David's plan could have been executed better, the character still managed to clear his name by the show's close. Strapped with a suicide vest and dumped into the street, David had become the perfect fall guy due to the lies that he had told about knowing Andy. In a tense standoff with the police, David revealed that he did in fact know Andy and that he had also stashed away information in his flat that would clear his name. This forced the insiders and conspirators to journey to his flat but due to the booby trap that David had set up earlier, he was able to prove there was more to his story than the police knew about. David managed to disarm the suicide vest with help from the police and cleared his name. To further prove his innocence and catch the real culprits, David bolted across the capital, broke into Chanel's flat, used her to get to Luke and then identified Lorraine Craddock as the inside woman. David cleared his name and the three culprits were jailed. The PM was forced to resign due to information that Julia possessed on them being leaked by Anne Sampson and Mike Travis remained in government to kick RIPA 18 into the long grass putting power back into the hands of the police. So what did you think of Bodyguard? Did you guess the twist and what would you like to see in the second series if there ever is one? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and subscribe to my channel. 
I create content like this weekly and there'll definitely be something on here that you love if you're a fan of television. Recently I discussed the ending of the new Netflix show Maniac so make sure you check that video out next linked at the end of this one. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.